And ever found yourself in this position? Begging for your car not to be towed? Dude, you don't want to do this right now. Hello? Hey! Excuse me! You Confessions from the man with the hook. Repo Madness. You're not going to take my car today. You're not. Before he tows away, how can you make him go away? True Confessions from the man with the hook. Confessions of a Repo Man with Jim Avila. Got notice from the finance company. People that have the lien on it ask us to come pick it up. It's a repossession. You can move your foot out of the way. You plan on fight me on this one? I'm trying to tell you right now, dude, you don't want to do this right now. Matt Pittman is a repo man. Why am I thinking this is doing my job? If you owe, he will tow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to suck it. So yeah, we'll be on scene in just about five minutes and hopefully get this forerunner hooked. He will tow you on your birthday. He'll tow you on your wedding day. Repo on good. He will tow you on the day you die. You actually took one from a dead guy. Yeah, it was the day it was the day of his funeral. And I was like, oh man, that's you know unfortunate, but at least I know he's not gonna be coming out of the house yelling at me, you know. And this Thanksgiving, while you were woofing down turkey and trimmings, the man who proudly calls himself the repo nut was out gobbling up cars in Utah. Every year we pick up at least six or seven vehicles on Thanksgiving Day that we otherwise wouldn't we didn't know where they were at. Matt Pittman may be the most dedicated repo man in America. So proud of his work, he records every tow and shows them off on YouTube. Repo on good, it's on the back. Here's the term repo man. There's certain key words that we do try to avoid when dealing with the debtors because, you know, I don't call them a debtor to their face. And what do the debtor slash customers call you? Uh, <laughs> usually. <laughs> what I've been shot at, um, I've been stabbed. I took a shovel to the back of the head. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Back up off me right now. I am, but I'm just back up off you right now. Dude. Repo work is not for the faint of heart, or some might say, for anyone with a heart. And you're okay with being a repo man. It doesn't bother you. No, not at all. It's not a personal thing for me. I didn't lend them the money. This is something that is just business. I'm going out to this address to pick up this collateral to transport to this location. High drama when human roadblocks try to prevent the inevitable. But nothing stops him from his appointed mission. Collect your car. We're going to stay right in front of your car until I get here. And his 350 buck fee from your lender. You're not in it. How do you figure that? Uh, I'm sitting in it. What are you going to do? Rip me out? No, I'm not going to rip you out. This isn't like the TV show. One woman even stuffed her child into the car as it was being towed away. I can drive with it any time that I'd like to. So That's in it? If you have the opportunity to get the kid out of the car, if you choose not to take her out, you can pick her up at my impound. Here we got a room Tahoe right here at the gas station. Oh, you're going to get a live skip on film. Pittman admits his entire industry operates in a gray area of the law. He thinks of himself as a legal yeah, car thief, a ninja. If we can, we like to get in, get out, and people be like, where's my car go? But I've got a key, so I'm just going to walk up and jump in it. A ninja who sometimes doesn't even need his truck to take a car. With a key from the bank, he just jumps into this one and drives off. That's how the pros do it, baby. That's how the repo man gets his car. In his insatiable search for cars, Pittman goes hunting with advanced license plate recognition cameras. They're mounted on the hood. On Sundays, for example, he religiously cruises church parking lots. Now you'll watch the pictures will actually change to the side cameras as it starts picking up its first plates. The system captures license plates and compares them to a database of wanted vehicles. When he gets a hit, he hooks them up. The debtors don't have a prayer. Who knew? Big Brother is a repo man. Another secret? The thoroughly modern repo man is using social media to track you down. I, mean, I can follow people on Facebook now, and they'll tell me when and where they're going to be. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you follow them on Facebook, and they say, I'm going out of town, or I'm, I'm going over I'm here? I'm going to a wedding. We had a wedding just a couple weeks ago where we were looking for two different vehicles from two different parties that happened to be from each side of the wedding. And so once the wedding came together, both vehicles were in the exact same parking lot. But Matt, it was their wedding. That's, that's, that's their day, not mine. <laughs> I, my, my, my job is to pick up the vehicles. And don't think it can't happen to you. Certify this, Matt. Back in Utah, repo hey, tower Matt Pittman says he feels the debtor's so pain. You're not going to take my car today. You're not. But through the tears and the sob story, 
the vehicle always goes. So if you're thinking of letting those car payments slide for just one more month, or claiming the check just got lost in the mail again, take a good look at this face. You see him coming up your driveway, one thing's for sure, the next place you go is on foot.